Welcome to episode 5 of About Jobs TV. We've been talking on the Collector series. I know you've learned so much. I know, I know you have become so much just by engaging with this content. Now we're going to talk about the positioning of the collector. Who is he? What is his mind? What does he look like? How does he dress? And that status of the collector, what does it get you? My name is Fumi Bajulaye. I'm your host on About Jobs TV. Enjoy the programming today and let's discuss in the comment section below. See you after the break. So we're back. Now, um, who is this collector? The one, the staff that has, the one that knows how to amass. We've been talking about this throughout this episode. What is the benefit you will have by becoming the staff that has. The collector looks a particular way and you're gonna get some tips on how to dress like a collector. When you are building a career portfolio for yourself, ensure that your dress sense is a statement. At every point in time, you need to take out time to wear the clothes that positions you for the next position that you want. So some people tend to dress at the level um, where they're employed. So for instance, the executive, they tend to wear a lot of shirts without jackets or certain clothes that makes them look like an executive. So if you're planning for a promotion, always dress a step ahead of where you are. And so that automatically makes the people that you're going to meet in the next level find you one of them. And this is a major tip on how to be as a collector. Your clothing and your dress sense positions you in the mind of the person that you are seeing. So don't take that for granted in building the career. Now we're going to look at the mindset to build as a collector. Do you have to break? So everybody is telling you quit your job and start a business. But have you ever thought that running a business might be just as challenging or even more than keeping your job? Keeping your job is a book that was written to help you know what it you need to do to actually retain that position as the employee and move yourself forward up the ladder. Some people actually go out of paid employment because they are frustrated, they don't have, know how to fight their corporate politics, they don't know how to get the promotion that they want, so they think that the easier route is starting a business. Only to find out that it's more difficult and you need the same fight that you didn't put in the place of employment. So instead of going through that whole process, there's a book called Keeping Your Job. Keeping your job gives you insight on what the employer thinks after five years. After five years, the employer is trying to get rid of you. How can you make them change their mind? There's something called the dinosaur employee, and that's the employee that begins to think that the new guy that comes in is bringing in innovation because he just doesn't know that he can't talk. Are you the dinosaur employee? Get keeping your job today and get tools and tips to hold on to your job in a dynamic labor market and push yourself up the ladder in the company where you are. You won't regret it. Keeping your job. Welcome back. It looks like these are short tips that you're getting through about job CV, but I understand that keeping your mind engaged for too long might make it wander. So I want to give you the punchline. Now, as the collector, you have to be somewhere in your mind. And that place is a land of success. I don't want you to think of yourself as building a career. I want you to think of yourself as the answer to the solution in your industry. That mind positioning automatically puts you on your marks, get set, and always on the go. It means that you're always looking to get new knowledge. It means that you're always looking to get new information. It means that you're always trying to offer value in a place where you find yourself. It means that you're always looking to meet more people, which means you're trying to socialize so that you can expose your value to more people and so that you can get ahead. It means that you are focused on your focus. So you don't go into a place and start getting involved with chit chats. You are always focused on the subject matter in your industry. You are focused on getting a project done. When you are giving a piece of work as a collector, you are using that piece of work as another opportunity to get the next medal on your wall. So being the collector places you in a positioning and a mindset that gives you the advantage in the eyes of your employer and also builds you a career that you'll be proud of. So you're not passing time just in nine to five. 
you are passing milestones of achievement every time you go into the workplace. About Jobs TV is powered by the School of Performance. At the School of Performance, we provide books, courses, services that will help you move your career to where it has to be. So it's not enough to just watch About Jobs TV and get some snippets. You can get into the nitty gritty of information and practical tools that can take you to the next level. We have books like Planning for a Good Job, Keeping Your Job, Mindset of the Employer versus Employee. We have courses like Secrets to Working Smarter, courses like the ultimate guide to getting landing your first job we have the career planner which is the ultimate solution to actually building the career of your dreams the school of performance is designed with practical information this is information we got through experience with employers employees and people who are making things happen so it is something to invest in when you are building a career let me tell you personal development is a non-negotiable in building the career to the next step so what you know you know but what you don't know might be keeping you from where you want to get to visit the school of performance today So much for joining this episode on the next episode we're going to be looking at when you do not have the mindset of the collector how you will look for a job it'll be from a point of desperation and you're most likely going to be susceptible for a job scam i don't want you to be in that place that's why i created about job cv see you next time on our new episode